Okay, let's look at how with a button to move a row between two sheets in Google Sheets. Here I am in one Google Sheet. I'm gonna move a row from this sheet into this sheet. This is the target sheet. This is the source sheet with this button. So if I two finger click on this button or command or control click, I can edit the button. I can click on these three dots and I can assign the script. So right now the function that's running is move rows. So let's go see what that does. Let's go tools, script editor. And in here, let's command F for move rows and find where that is. There it is in the move rows file. It's also in general, but it's in the move rows file, the one we're looking for. So here's our script. As you can see, there's a lot of comments in here. That's more just, you don't need this when you're actually writing the code in all cases. Comments are great so that later you can remember what you did or someone else can know what you did. But I have a lot in here for educational purposes. I also have a lot of logging in here. Logging just means printing somewhere so we can see what happens at that part of the code. So the code also is at GitHub right here if you do want to go and download the code or use the code. So what this does is when you click the button in the sheet right here, it runs this script. It will log this just so you know the script is running. It will then do a confirmation check. It will just pop up a box that says, are you sure you want to do this? Generally a good idea, but you don't, you don't need that. And then in this section, as you can see, we will get the data we want to move. So I put these commas in here so we can be really clear what's happening each step. So to get the data we want to move, we'll start by just getting the active sheet. The active sheet is wherever this button is. Because if I click here, the script will run. It will say what sheet is active right now. This is the sheet I'm on. This is the active sheet. And then we'll say, what is the last column of data in the active sheet? So I will say in the active sheet, give me the last column. That should return one, two, three, four, five, six, because there's no data to the right of that anywhere. Not up, not down, not left, not right. And then I'll log that. So it'll log this term and then the number so I can see what's happening. I'll then get the number of the row to move. So this comes from whatever I'm selecting. So if I'm selecting this cell, it will return 11, the cell 16, the cell 19, and so on. So whatever row I'm selected, that will return this number. So it will be active sheet, get the active range, which is what I've selected, and get the row from that. And then I'll print that also so I have that. Then I'll get the range I want to copy. So range to copy from, again, grab the sheet and get the range. Get the row that I just have selected. Starting in the first column, give me one row and give me the number of columns that are in the sheet. So this will give me, again, selected. So let's say I have, let's say I have that cell selected. It will return row 19, starting in column one, give me a total of one row, going to column six. So it will return this range right there. And that's it for getting the data we wanna move. Then we wanna copy and paste it. So first we get the target sheet. We run some library code that Google has already written for us. So we use the spreadsheet app object, we get the active spreadsheet, then we get the sheet by name. So we're gonna get the sheet, move rows, target sheet, script. And that is that sheet right there. Then we'll get the last row in that sheet because we want to paste the data into the, the row after the last row, the first blank row. So this will get us the last row in the sheet that has data. So it should return 11. We'll then print that in case we ever need to test it to make sure it's working right. Then we'll get the range to paste to, just like we got the range to paste from. Now we'll get the range to paste to. Target sheet, get the range. Last row in target sheet plus one, right? So if it returned last row in target sheet was 10, the row I want is 11. So we'll say, get the range starting in row 11, column one, for a total of one row, and six columns, same as the number before. So this will return this range for me. Then I'll just copy and paste the data. This is the big action line, range to copy from, run the function copy to on that range, to paste to that range, and we're gonna paste only the contents and not the formatting, not other stuff. You can use this for different variables and you can look in the documentation to figure out what to do here depending on what you wanna do, pasting values or formats or formulas. For now, we're just gonna paste the contents. Then what I wanna do, and obviously things like this are optional, depends on what you're looking to do, but for the range we copied from, we're gonna clear the content. So let's say in this sheet, this was the range we copied from, it's gonna do that. It's gonna make the content disappear because we're assuming that if we move the row from one sheet to another, we actually want it to disappear from here because it moved. If you wanted to copy the row, you could say that actually in that case, we'll leave it in both places, but let's say we want to delete it for now. 
and then we're going to source the sort the source sort the source sheet. So right here, if we delete it, we then would sort all this data. So we could get rid of this row because then it would just sort all the content and this blank row would disappear. Again, optional, but a nice thing to do if you want to get rid of that blank row. So we'll get the last row of the data in that sheet. Again, the active sheet is where the button was clicked. So it's this source sheet. The range to sort, like usual, we'll get a range starting in row seven, starting in column one, get this number of rows, which is the last row of data minus six because we want to get to this last row 1581 but we don't need these first six rows. So the total number of rows is 1581 minus six, which is a total of 1575. That's what that would return. And then last column, because that's the range we want. So this one will return this range from A7 all the way down to F1581, that entire range. Then when we have that range, we'll just range to sort, sort it. And then we'll sort based on column one, order ascending true. So again, you can pass in more than one column. You can do different things with these, this data that you pass in, but this will sort just based on that first column. And then we'll have a pop-up box tell us we're done. And then just some more comments here so we know where we're closing the code back down here. So let's see this in action. Let's click on, let's say we want to move row eight. Let's click the button. Here's the confirmation box, click yes. There it goes, it moved the row. Once I click okay, you'll see this row will disappear because it will then sort this sheet. And because there's blanks here, it will that will sort to the end. Click OK. And it's done. And now if you want to see the logs, we can see View, Logs. And there's what we printed during the script. So if we ever have to debug or there's an issue, we can always print things and look at them here. Sometimes things print also to this other dashboard. So just be aware that if things something's not printing to this log, it might be printing to this log. And as I said, the code's in GitHub if you do want to go here and look at it. Thanks.